it's that time again for us to show you Africa to the world, one country at a time. <laughs> oh, no way, man. <laughs> I'm super excited, you know why? Because I'm finally going to my country number 25, Zimbabwe. <laughs> Zimbabwe means a lot to me. I mean, Zimbabwe is so special to me. You know why? Because of Robert Mugabe. We have fought for our land. We have fought for our sovereignty. Small as we are, we have won our independence and we are prepared to shed our blood in sustenance and maintenance and protection of that independence. Robert Mugabe's wife, I mean first wife, Sally, was from my region, yeah, so I grew up hearing about Robert Mugabe because my mom used to be a guard for Mugabe anytime Mugabe comes to my region. Did you know that Mugabe's first son died of malaria in Sekendi and he was buried in Sekendi and anytime Mugabe comes, my mom will be the one to guard him. And because of that, I learned about Robert Mugabe when I was growing up. But apart from that, when I went to school in China, I had so many classmates from Zimbabwe. So I've always wanted to go to Zimbabwe. But this is my fourth time trying to enter Zimbabwe. My first time when I found myself in Livingston, Zambia. I was deported from Zambia, so I couldn't enter Zimbabwe. Second time, I found myself in Mozambique. And when I got to Mozambique, I couldn't enter Zimbabwe because COVID got me stuck in Mozambique. I couldn't go to Zimbabwe once again. Third time, I went to South Africa and I wanted to go to Zimbabwe. And I got a call from my mom that, yo, your sister's wedding, you need to be here on time. So I had to abandon my trip to Zimbabwe. And then, yeah, I come for my sister's wedding. But the time is finally now. And I always say that God's time is the best. So you know what? I'm going to Zimbabwe, finally, and listen, I'm not just going to Zimbabwe, I'm going to surprise my friend. This is the guy that I started my YouTube channel with. I don't know if you guys know Tony Mega Bush. Tony Lala. Mugabe San. I'm telling you, Tony Lala. Mugabe son, I'm telling you, this was one of my first ever video. And I started with this guy from Zimbabwe. He doesn't know I'm coming. It's a surprise video. So come along with me. I'm going to tell you how I'm going to surprise my friend in Zimbabwe. Enjoy this trip. Stay tuned. Grab a chilled beer. If you have a chilled water, drink it in case you don't drink alcohol. And um, let's go together. Thank you. Driver is telling me that I look familiar, and I'm also saying that he also look familiar. <laughs> you look familiar, though. <laughs> huh? Are you not the guy on YouTube who make YouTube videos? Are you the wrong one? Oh, really? Yeah. You're the one on Twitter, huh? Oh, oh. Used, what was the name you used on Twitter? To G. To G. Twitter people, look at him, man. He's, he, he's so familiar that I, I I know him in real life. Yeah, 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 yeah. Africa, Africa. The reason why we do travel videos is to inspire you to travel. But traveling in Africa is extremely expensive. Sometimes I ask myself, why is it so expensive to travel within Africa? You see, I'm going to Zimbabwe. One ticket of mine cost $500 and I had to buy three tickets, which makes it what? $1,500. Have you guys asked me where am I going to stay when I get to Zimbabwe? Extremely expensive. Have you asked me what am I going to eat when I get to Zimbabwe? You see, so our travels are extremely expensive. That's why I always come in here to tell you, you have to sponsor us in a way that you can. You all know that I love and care about you guys because I've always wanted you guys to travel along with me. 
So I've been looking for an affordable way to travel within Africa. That is when I reached out to Adansa Travels. But when I reached out to them, they told me that we don't do African travel. And I said, do an African travel and me and my audience will make it successful. So they decided to organize a package which is so affordable for you all. Check the link in the description and you'll be shocked to know that your ticket will be taken care of, your accommodation will be taken care of, your food will be taken care of for just an affordable price. Check the link in the description. Let me know where you want to go with me. I will see you all when you get the package. Thank you. Finally got to Kutukoi International Airport, Terminal 3, and we're heading to Zimbabwe. I don't know why. Can I tell you guys I'm super excited once again? So, check-in is done. We're on our way to Addis Ababa. We're gonna spend a night in Addis, and then the next morning, we'll fly to Harare, Zimbabwe. But like I said, I also want to surprise um, a classmate of mine, a guy who I started YouTube videos with. And you know what we did? I wouldn't want to call him yet. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are you done? He's not even online. <laughs> I think we should call him. Yeah, he's, he's ringing. Keep recording, man. So the guy's not picking up. So far. Hi, Mega Bush. Yes, bro. Yes, what? bro. What's up? Cool, man. So yes. I'm giving the parcel to Steven, yeah? Um, oh, okay. So he, he's going to bring you the parcel. He's here with me. He just want to say hello oh, and then okay. um, I'll give your number to him. So when he gets to Harare, he's going to call you. Ah, uh, okay. Not a problem. Okay. You, you want to say hello to him? Uh, let, let me say hello to him. Hello, bro. Uh, hi, bro. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Uh, very good. Are you coming to Zim? Yeah, I'm coming to Zim and I, I'm landing on Sunday. Oh, you're landing on Sunday? Yeah, I'm landing okay, on so Sunday. Oh, you're coming to play for Dynamos? Yeah. Ah, okay, okay, awesome. So, should I come? Should I meet you at the airport? Yeah, you can pick me at the airport. That would be cool. That would be cool. Ah, uh, uh, okay, 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 okay. So, just you just get my contact uh, from. Uh, from what the Maya day and then uh, we can be texting on WhatsApp. Are you on WhatsApp? Yeah, I'm on WhatsApp. Don't worry, bro. We're going to um, link up when I get to Zim. I have to board a plane right now. So. Ah, uh, uh, okay, 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 okay. I'll Not get your contact. Thanks. Okay. Tony Megabush. Thanks, 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 Tony Megabush. Yeah, Mogabi san. <laughs> All right, bro. All the best, man. Okay. Take care. Take care. Bye. <laughs> he has no idea that the parcel is what Amaya. So yeah, come with me. Let's go to Zimbabwe and go surprise my old time friend. Aya Maya. This tampering with the laboratory smoke detectors is prohibited. Let's 
go. Now the plane is stable now. I got my tea, enjoying myself, and I decided to play with the world map, yeah? And through my discovery, yeah? It's just like the white people came to Africa and they said they discovered Lake, Lake Victoria. It doesn't make sense. So I was not gonna come up with a theory. I discovered, <laughs> I actually discovered that Africa is an island, yeah? Look at, look at this, yeah? This is the African map. It's surrounded by water from from the north to the south to the west and east so right here at the north you see this is the only land here so let's pray that this land break and if this break or maybe if this switch or switch or whatever africa is going to be an island we're going to detach ourselves from the rest of the world man but what will happen if africa detach itself from the rest of the world world will no longer function but I mean we are almost detached and the world is still functioning what is wrong with us man <laughs> but there's an interesting theory I don't know if you guys knew this already I think Africa is an island let me know what you think in the comment section good morning from Addis Ababa Ad how are you doing I'm good, I'm good. you all right Ethiopia, bro. Yeah. I'm Thank you. If you're a fan from Ethiopia, just let me know in the comment section. Yeah. Oh wow, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Great. <laughs> I can't recall the number of times I've been to this city. I mean, it's one of my favorite cities in Africa. I mean, Addis Ababa. You all know the new flower. I found my flowers in here, and believe me or not, this city is amazing. It's beautiful, and I just love it. And I believe that. If you ever come to Addis Ababa, you're also gonna love it. So yeah, I'm not here because of Addis Ababa. Let's stick to the plan and go surprise my friend in Zimbabwe. So let's go. It's time to go to Harai. Zanzibar, you cannot go alone. You have to go with another. You know, I, I, I want to tell you guys something. I feel like the airport is the headquarters of my YouTube subscribers. Because anytime I step out, I always meet people at the airport. Like, oh, I watch your videos, and yeah, we yes. are. I mean, um, we know each other for so long. Yeah? For so long, bro. You remember in Shinya? Yeah. I actually attended one of your stand-up comedy shows, and you yeah. won that show. Exactly. And, but and I, 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 don't I, I don't think I, I don't think I won. They just decided to give me. <laughs> I'm gonna give it to you because at this point in time, man, I appreciate everything you're doing. Mm. It's amazing and I'm really, really happy you're coming to, to our country. Yeah. We have to link up and I'm, you'll be surprised how many fans you have for my country. Uh, what, what, what should I expect from Zimbabwe, man? Um, firstly, Saza. Saza. Do you know what is Saza? Come on, I was eating Saza <laughs> in China, man. You don't even have to tell me that. Because, you know, I had so many Zimbabwean classmates. Yeah. Uh, so Saza would... That's a, it's also called pop, right? Yeah. Thank you. Let me tell you something. Mdara. I, I, Mdara. <laughs> Mdara. <laughs> Mdara. I have heard jollof rice okay. in China. Okay. But I think jo jollof rice from Kumasi is different. <laughs> Sadza in Zimbabwe is going to be different. Really? Expect the real Sadza, okay? <laughs> now I'm really going to try the real Sadza. <laughs> Which Sadza are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> There's only one sauce in my country, okay? <laughs> you know, let me tell you something. In Ghana, when you say you've tried jollof rice, uh, it's like you've tried our women. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> is, is, is that what you're trying to say? No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. Anyway, yeah, it's Cheers, nice making up to Cheers. you. Cheers. Let me tell you something about Zimbabwe. When we're in school, yeah, you don't need to get to know somebody before you get to know that he's Zimbabwe. Early morning, they don't joke with their beer, man. Yeah. And I'm going to Zimbabwe, and I know that I'm going to see that more often, man. He, he said the only way to tell that uh, someone is Zimbabwe by them not telling you is by them drinking a beer in the morning. <laughs> and I think Zimbabwe's going to agree with you. <laughs> 
<laughs> See you all in Zimbabwe. Thank you. We finally landed in Harare, Zimbabwe, and I was so excited to finally touch down at the jewel of Africa. By the immigration, decided to welcome us with this. I want to ask African immigrations, why do you guys don't expect to see Africans traveling within Africa? There's something wrong with you guys, man, because I don't get it. You don't expect to see your own people exploring their own continent? This mentality has to change. See, no one sponsors my trip. I'm on a journey to change the narrative and also address certain issues like this because I am saying that it's time for me to inspire Africans to travel within their continent. It's time for Africans to choose Africa as a destination instead of what? Going to Europe or even Dubai to explore what they can explore in their own continent. But if Africans decide to explore their own continent and you treat them this way, that's so wrong. Listen, I think I have to do another video to address this issue once again because we're tired. But like I've always been saying, you can't use one person's mistake to judge the entire country. So we also met a nice immigration Officer, sure. Yes. What is that, Asamoah? Yeah. You know what? I like Ghana. Okay. Ghana, you know, a bit, a bit, and the are you Jordan? Oh, ah, Jordan. Jordan, yeah. those guys, yeah. I like them. They play very well. But what but happened? I was separated in 2010 South Africa. What when, happened? When he missed the penalty. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you know, Asamoah is so famous for missing the penalty. Please. He, is he rich in your country? Very rich. Very rich. One of the richest footballers in, in, in Ghana. In Ghana? Yeah, very rich. What about rich. Abedi Pele? Abedi Pele is also rich. You know, the children are still playing football. Yes. Very rich. I like Ghana. Yeah. I like Ghana. <laughs> Thank I you. Like, I like guys. Fine. We are brothers. Alright, that's fine. Enjoy your stay here. Wow, thank you. Thank you. We are brothers. Thank you. We are, we are really brothers, man. Yeah, enjoy your stay here. All right. This is, this is why I'm telling you that yeah, we are one brothers. immigration officer doesn't represent the entire country. He is also an immigration officer and saying that we, we are, are brothers. brothers. We are brothers. One Africa. One Africa. Yeah. Especially the Ghanaian. Our president lived in say our former president. Yeah. This is that has been Ghana and he made the day. Exactly. And yes. He you might your, your daughter was here. Yes. Was and very dear. My mom. Mm was the bodyguard of Mugabe when he was in Ghana. You know what? Mugabe and I, we share the same church in Kushunga. Really? So he's my great grandfather. Wow. Yes. My brother. <laughs> you, you made it to Ghana. Exactly. From so, my region. So, hey. Yeah. So we are one. Oh. Thank you, guys. Yeah, thank, uh, you. thank you. <laughs> so after everything that happened, I'm still in Zimbabwe to continue my plan. And I know that Tony is definitely oh, expecting hey. To see, like, hey, uh, to get a parcel. Hey. I am the parcel myself. Make a wish. You want a parcel, eh? This is a very big parcel, eh? <laughs> hey. Whoa, come, come closer. Ah, come on. Come on. <laughs> Your dad was expecting a parcel from me, but I'm the parcel myself. Come and say hello. Say hello. Hi. How are you? You know, I wanted to test you first, and I'm like, women don't keep secrets. So I cannot tell you. I sent you a message. Did you see it? No. I sent you a hi on Instagram. Thank you. But later when I got an idea, I'm like, women don't keep secret, man. <laughs> but I can kind of figure it out. Huh? You figured it out? Yeah. Ah, this guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Steven, this is a guy. Give him the, the book. Oh. Wow, he's a big guy now. Eh? No, he's good. Wow. What's up, man? Good. What are you doing here? Ah, I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> Why is he not <laughs> telling me that he's coming to Zimbabwe? I, I, I knew you suspected it. But I'm like, ah, let me just stick to the plan. 
and make it happen. No. Thank you. Mdara. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know, I asked you if you're gonna come with your wife. He said, Ah, she might be busy because I really wanted her to be around, you know. And yeah, you're not busy, thank God. <laughs> oh, really? Nice. The person is here, man. You want to say bye bye to them? See? Okay. Ah. Good, 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 good yeah? yeah, so I'm in Zimbabwe and I cannot come to Zimbabwe without meeting Tony Mega Bush, man. We're gonna sit down and talk proper, man. Let me tell you, I have to do Let it. Let me tell you, if I you're a Christian in, in, in the Bible, there is, man should not live by bread alone. I'm telling you, no, 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 Ghana no, baby no, cannot no, live by one no, girl alone. I'm telling you, let me talk to this girl. Wait. Can you speak Chinese? She's Chinese. I'll try, I'll try, I'll try. wait. Yo, what am I? Hello, uh, my name is Tony. I just saw you passing. And I really think I'm really pretty. I'd like to be your friend and like, if all goes well, maybe in due time, who knows, you can be my girlfriend. Mm, my gosh! Oh, damn.